if you are watching this video, you may already be aware of the benefits of an external breather system. If you're not aware of those benefits, there will be a link in the description below to a full write-up of external breather systems. The installation for all stock air boxes is relatively the same. You will begin by removing the stock cover and any hoses or tubes currently attached to the breather bolts. Subsequently, you will remove the air filter element itself. The next step will be to remove the breather bolts that fasten the plastic back plate to the intake. It is very important that you decide where you will route the hoses to determine where you need to drill a hole in the back plate in order to route the hoses out of the air box. For this application, we took a hidden discrete approach and you can see here the catch filter is tucked neatly underneath the frame. From here, you will reinstall the plastic back plate and stock breather bolts. It is now time to begin routing the hose through the exit hole of the back plate. In many cases, the T-fitting itself can fit inside of the air box, leaving only one single hose to be routed out of the exit hole. As you can see here, there are hoses leading from each breather bolt connected to the T-fitting that is then routed out of the air box. It is very crucial that you cover or plug any pre-existing vent holes in the back side of the filter element so that there can be no unfiltered airflow entering the intake. Reinstall the filter element, torquing the fasteners to factory spit. Be sure to use thread locker on all fasteners. Reinstall the factory cover. The installation of an external breather system on your stock air cleaner is now complete. If you like this video or if it helped you out, hit that notification bell so you'll be updated when our next video comes out and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. If there's any DK custom products you would love to see a video installation of, let us know in the comments below. Y'all ride safe out there.